Okay everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to quickly show you how to set up um, a grid in InDesign. So if we go up here to layout, there is an option that says margins and columns. There's also a create guides. We'll be using both of these, but let's just show you, I'm going to show you first how to do this with columns. You can set your margins. So right now if I wanted them to be smaller, I could put a quarter inch by 0.25. By default, all of these are going to be linked, but if you wanted to change this, so let's say for instance, a lot of times you want to have the bottom a little bit smaller, a little bit larger, you can unlink that by clicking there. And now we click over here, as long as we've got that preview button on, you can see I've got a little bit there. And I'm actually going to make these a little bit bigger. We'll do a 0.5 like we had before. And I'm just going to go crazy with this, a little bit wacky, and we'll go all up to 0.75 for that. Okay, now the other option is right here, the columns. So you can use your columns to create a grid. By default, we have a couple here, and let's just say that we're going to do six columns. Once again, you can stretch these across as however you'd like, and then we can increase or decrease the, the gutter. I'm going to do a 1.25, actually let's do a, um, that's a little bit too much. Yeah, 125 on that. We're going to hit OK. So we've got our grid there. It's within the margins. We can add an additional grid crosswise if we go up to our layout and then create guides and then we can do our rows and columns. You can also just do your rows without um, using the columns themselves right here. It's really up to you. I'm going to match this to the margins here. The gutter is the same. And now under, oops, not columns, under rows, we have preview selected. We can add these. And what we want to do with our column is just basically do this until we get to a point where we have a nice square which for here seems to be eight, and then we hit OK. So actually, so now we've got a nice little grid that allows us to go through. If we wanted to, we could do all of that right here using our um, Create Guides section. It's completely up to you. All right, I hope this has been helpful, and I'll talk to you soon.